Hello, this is Catalytics and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we are going to look at survival time summary in Stata. So if you watch this video right to the very end, you'll be able to know how to use the Stata platform to run survival time summary, which will include the incident rates and the time at risk and the number of your study participants. So we encourage you to hook on until the very end of this video so as you can benefit yourself. Without wasting much time, we want to delve into that. So now we are looking at a variable of mortality, which is under five deaths. We want to see how it's classified. So we have our life and death. And then we also have a variable called the survival time or the save time. So this gives us the number of years in which this a uh, number of subjects had been alive during the study within five years. So these people were studied for five years, and then we established those that died during the period, those that were lost to follow up, or those that survived beyond that. So actually, those who died was coded as one, and then those survived past five years or were lost to follow up as zero. And so this helps us to see that this is a censored, a censored data. Now, to be able to get the corresponding um, code for the survivor, they are alive and then the dead, we want to add this line of good no level. And it will help us to see that zero is they are alive and then one is dead. So for us to be able to know what the survivor time summary is, we just want to type help S T sum. That survival time summary. And then we'll click on OK. And then we have, and then we have this telling us so you can download this PDF and then read more about the survival time summary. But generally, if what, what it stands to reason or to do is that first it says that you must ST set your data before using ST sum. So we're going to demonstrate that in a while in, in 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 a few moments now the description see the st time represents summary statistics time at risk incident rates number of subjects and the 25th 50th and 70th 75th percentiles of our, of survival time and then the st sum can be used with single or multiple record or single or multiple failure st data so basically this is an information about the st sum or the st survival time summary, which this video seeks to expand sheet on. Now, it mentions that for us to run the survival time, we need to set it by doing the ST set. So that is what we are doing now. So ST set, we are looking at survival time or the save time, which is a variable in our data set. And then we are seeing that failure is what we are, we are of interest to. And so we are going to put, um, the under five into brackets, and this will set our data up for us to be able to know or do our survival time summary. So we just click on OK, and here it gives us the number of observations, the exclusions, and the failure in single and record and single value data, and then gives us the total analysis time at risk under observation. So this is the total time of, or the sum of the survival times, or so to speak, the person years under this study. Now at risk from time zero to the earliest time of entry is zero, and then the last exit is 4.916667. So basically this is an information that it provides you when you set the Stata platform or the mode into survival analysis form. Now, we want to do this ST sum, which is the main reason why we are doing this video. So the ST sum, this is the code we need. It will be able to give us one, the risk, the total risk, and two, it also gives us the incident rates, the number of participants, and the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles of the, the time at risk if they are available. Now we type enter. 
and we have that right here. <clears throat> so it gives us the time at risk, which is what? 13,000. 13, that's 13,453.8541. And then the incident rate is 0 0.021. 4808 and the number of subjects is this now the incident rate just tells us the occurrence of new death as the time progresses and so it's an incident rate because this is a core study and using a prevalent rate will not be of statistical significance for us and so for survival time we study or we look out for the incident rates so basically, this is how you can be able to run the survival time summary using the Stata platform. First of all, you have to set the Stata mode into the survival time analysis mode. Then you go ahead to run the ST sum, which is the survival time summary. If you find content such as this useful, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel turn on your post notification bell so you are always notified whenever a new video such as this is released and if you are a returning subscriber we thank you so much for always making time to learn on our platform and until we meet again on our next one this is Cadilitics and it's a bye